Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Matty. And today we're going to taste some Colorado bourbon, the 291 Distillery. This is a single barrel from Westport Whiskey and Wine. Mm -hmm. I happen to be in the Westport Whiskey and Wine here just before Christmas. Uh, uh, they were doing an event there because they would just gotten the 291 single barrel that they picked, and uh, we had tasted the uh, 291 before uh -huh. uh, for the blog. Yeah, you know bourbonbeach.com. Check it out. And uh, uh, we wanted to give this a shot. And everything. This is something that they distilled. It says it's distilled and bottled by the 291 Distillery in uh, Colorado, but it's also finished with ap Aspen Wood Staves. Aspen Wood Staves. Yeah. This is, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. We haven't uh, tasted it yet. We haven't yet. tried this one yet. You just it. like, yeah. Like oh, I, I, I have I've tasted it. I took a sample of it when we... Uh, oh, we're at Westport? At Westport. Okay. And, uh, and I liked it. Cool bottle, cool design. Had like a little wire top on it. Yeah. Hold the cork in. Hold the cork in. Uh, it's a sleek bottle. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's nose it. You get that. It's earthy tones. Oh, you get that aspen wood, you know. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, you're right. It's different. I, yeah, it's know, different. It's a lot, a lot of uh, whiskeys like this. And it kind of dominates the nose. It does, really. There's a little vanilla. It's almost like a nice campfire in the cold, almost. Yeah. You know, like, I like that smell. Yeah. Yeah, it does remind you of sitting by the fire. It does, doesn't it? Sit, sitting by a wood fire at a cold uh, uh, Colorado yeah. <laughs> evening. <laughs> So let's take a sip. Yeah, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. You get that wood. You get a lot of that wood. It's it's high on the high on the wood. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of peppery spice. Peppery spice. A little That's vanilla. I'm liking, I'm liking it a lot, and I think it's because it is. It does have a lot of pepper in it. Yeah. Um, I'm getting caramel peppers. Like, I'm getting See, I'm getting red. more vanilla than... You getting vanilla? Yeah, I'm getting like red pepper. Um, yeah. Like cayenne. Um, yeah, basically the finish in the mid palate kind of like is dominating. Yeah. Um, maybe like even a little cinnamon in there, but it's very spicy. Yeah, a lot, a lot of wood though. Yeah. Yeah, spicy wood. Yeah. Well, let's see what a cranberry has for it. That sweetened it up for me. Yeah. Took mm -hmm. a lot of that wood out. Took a lot of the wood out. But you still get that aspen wood note to it, particularly mm -hmm. on the finish. Yeah. This one's giving me like, it's bringing me more towards the earthy side of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Yeah, I'm getting what like... What is that fruit? What is that? It's, it's, it definitely has a fruit in there now. Is it like banana-y? Or like, are you getting like berries? Or? I think it is more of a banana. Yeah. It's almost yeah. wine like with the <laughs> yeah with yeah with the crayon. Uh, you get the little bit of sweetness of the vanilla, more mm -hmm. vanilla to me. Mm -hmm. uh, you get definitely that little bit of banana fruit. Yeah, you get a it's lot creamy. of wood. Yeah, uh, but not as dominant on the aspen wood. I think uh, in this yeah. one, it's more of an oak. And I th so I think if you like don't like. I do like a, you know, like I like an oaky and spicy, but with this one, if you do it with a, some kind of sweet, yeah, with like a cran, it's almost like might you know, make like a, a vanilla and then banana cream and like it's yeah it's, it's yeah it makes me wonder if, what kind of Manhattan it'd make. 
Mm. Well, maybe try it after the video. <laughs> <laughs> Brings back that wood. Bring back the wood. Chocolatey. Yeah, it does add a little chocolate note to it. Mm -hmm. Not any fruit. No, no that fruit. banana's gone. Yeah, but it turns it into kind of more of a, I wouldn't say one note, maybe two or three notes of just like chocolate, wood, hot pepper. Oh, yeah, a little pepper. Yeah. The finish is, you know, that oak and pepper. Mm -hmm. That's just sticking there. Yeah. It's sticking right in the back here. Um, which I, I do love that. <laughs> Let's try it with some chocolate. That's interesting. Really brings out the vanilla, mm -hmm. but it also brings out that pepper. A really hot pepper. <laughs> <on> the, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> you know the hot pepper and the chocolate kind of go together. It makes you reminds me of one of those uh, chocolates that you can get with you know, a little of that peppery spice uh, added to it. Yeah, yeah, and it, it tastes exactly like that. Um, I like it. Yeah. I like I like it all the way through. Um, for some people, it could be a little too hot, maybe. Maybe. You yeah. know, that's kind of my thing. I do like that, and I, and I do like a lot of the oak and wood. You know, like I think the aspen wood like gives it its own unique character. I definitely think it's not a bad thing, um, and uh, that's what I like about this one is that it does taste like different from anything else I've had. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, Chris Zabrowski out at Westport Whiskey always picks a good barrel. Pick the winner here. This is really yeah, good Yeah, this stuff. is a single barrel pick. Really good stuff. Mm -hmm. So, very good. Distillery 291, Chris Zabrowski out at Westport Whiskey and Wine. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Go Colorado.